This is an overview of chapter nine. And in chapter nine, you will focus on associations, or as the authors of the text call it, associational life. Essentially, what this chapter is focused on is the groups that we are part of in our daily lives, the groups that are important to us. And certainly family is one of those groups, but outside of family, what kind of friends do we have? Uh, what kind of civic organizations are we involved in, if any? Things such as uh, the Knights of Columbus, the ACLU, uh, I'm trying to think of other civic organizations that have a lot of life, uh, or you know, political organizations that we might be a part of. Um, religious groups, that's, those are a big part of many lives, of the lives of many people. Um, and so the focus here is on how important these are to us as humans. We're social beings as humans. We want to feel as though we belong somewhere. Maybe we don't want to feel as though we fit in everywhere, but all of us want to have some people that we feel we can identify with, that we have something in common with. Um, and so, in fact, an urban term that I've heard used quite frequently today is tribe. Who's your tribe? That is, who do you belong with? Who do you associate with? Who do you feel as though you're in sync with? That's the idea of associational life. Uh, unfortunately, Religion is one area where we don't see a lot of diversity. Uh, we may see diversity in workplaces and schools, but not so much in neighborhoods, not so much in many civic organizations, not so much in religions. Um, we also, unfortunately, have seen a, an increase in the rise of hate groups uh, in the United States. Prior to the civil rights movement, the KKK, other neo-Nazi groups were quite prevalent. You could find them in just about every state. Those began to die out to some degree, not fully, but to some degree, the numbers decreased. Um, but over the last decade, we have seen a rise in the numbers of people who affiliate with some sort of group that is focused on the if not hatred, at the very least, the dislike and the othering of other groups. So in this chapter, I hope that as you study it, you'll also think about what kind of groups you belong to and why you belong to those groups. Um, and if you don't really belong to very many civic organizations, uh, you may find that there are reasons for that, depending upon social class uh, and uh, ethnicity.